has the wrong Savior. How many know some folks got the wrong Savior? Basically, this is not they got the wrong. This is saying they got the Savior wrong because there's only one Savior. They have Jesus. All, how many of you know some folks that have Jesus all wrong? First of all, they think he looks like this. That's how you know you got it wrong. Jesus ain't never been glossy and flossy. Sexy. <laughs> Not the Savior. He has never and never will ever look like this. Amen. This was not even a picture grafted from the way he really looked. This, this has nothing to do with what Jesus Christ looked like. I explained it in my video, part seven, Mother of All Gods. That's the one. Showed you who this was. It's Serapis. Serapis Bay. He's uh, one of the Lord of the Seven Rays is who this is. This is who that was grafted after by Michelangelo or one of them. They actually painted Ser uh, Serapis and they wanted to use his image for the church. Well, he already told you don't make a graven image or a likeness of me. Amen? So if you got this candle in your house, throw it on, bust, break it and throw it away. Break it first so it don't jump out the trash can later. <laughs> You know that Santeria boy, that joker will light itself. <laughs> Amen. That's Santeria. That's, that's, that's Catholicism mixed with voodoo. That's what it is. So, I mean, if the Catholicism was already bad, they even added voodoo with it. And that's where this comes from. They have these candles with this face, him posing. Jesus don't have to look cute for nobody. Y'all think he really was walking around worried about how his hair was? Can you see Jesus in the mirror? That doesn't make sense. So this picture is just void. It don't have nothing to do with black because he ain't black either. Uh-oh, I'm not getting enough amen. Somebody been converted. Somebody got converted. I haven't talked about Hebrew Israelite a, 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 in a while. So in that little period, somebody got converted. You got black Jesus hanging up in your house like the Evans family, hoping it's going to help you get a job and, <laughs> and Thelma get a date. <laughs> amen. Black Jesus. I mean, because personally, I don't want him to be black. I don't want nothing in heaven black. I want to leave black here. I want to leave everything black here. The whole continent of Africa. I'm sorry, Gene. I need the whole. Con I need everything that proceeded out of Africa to remain in the earth. I don't want to deal with this for eternity. You just stay on that camera up there, Kevin. Don't say that. <laughs> Let me say it. You can't say that. <laughs> but uh, but this is yeah. This is uh, stop painting him. Stop hanging up pictures of him. Stop all of that because he doesn't look like this at all, and he don't want you to know what he looks like because it's never been about what he looks like. All right. Pull the skin off of every one of us and you'll have the same innards. Blood and guts. And a skeleton. And all of that's the same. There is no difference. In any of us, we're all the same. Never been about color. Well, God chose the chosen people. No, God picked a group of people because he had to. He had to pick a group of people to bring Jesus here. He didn't pick them because of their pigmentation. He didn't pick them because they spoke well and they were better than anybody. He picked a group of people because they were a group of people. Rock, paper, scissors, something. I need a group of people. So whether they were black, whatever, 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 the earthly Jesus left anyway. He left and took his color with him. 
Amen. So it had nothing to do with, look at somebody say it has nothing to do with color. Don't you start that ignorant mess in here. Had somebody tell me that the other day just sent me a eat. Hey, yo, yo, ministry, you are a false prophet because you, you scared to deal with the real issue of color and, and, and God's chosen ones and the lost children and the blah, blah. I said, brother, I, I deal with the lost folk every time I preach. Whoever doesn't know Christ, the Bible said they're lost. Mine doesn't do it a color. Man, you scared? They told me I was scared to preach it because something's going to happen to me. They, they, go, they kill everybody that comes out and talks about it. I said, bro, where do you get that statistic from? Everybody I know been preaching about it, they still here. You need to shut up. Hey man, I'm not mixing that erroneous doctrine in it. Now I would drop dead. God would, God would kill me if I tried to enter that foolishness in the truth. Especially when God has commissioned me to preach the truth. And for all these years, I have built a platform of truth. The minute I enter something erroneous in it, I'm out of here. Y'all don't have to do nothing. You ain't gonna have to rebuke. You ain't gotta take, you're not gonna have to say anything. God is going to pluck me right out of here because I have too much influence with the truth. He don't let you do that. Amen. First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall do what? Depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of what? Now, I hope y'all don't think this is talking about the world. No, they're departing from the what? Faith. And he's not saying that they're getting out of the church. That's why they're departing. No, 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 no. They're staying in the church, departing from the faith. We know that by what it says next. They're giving heed to seducing spirits and what? Doctrines. These are doctrines being preached in the church. So when they depart from the faith, all they're doing is taking the world and bringing the world into the church. Y'all still with me? So, the world. When the Bible talks about the world, it's talking about sin. Because of the God of this world. Who's the God of this world? The devil. The Bible says that he is the God of this world. He was given dominion of this world by man. Mankind gave the devil the world. But God so loved the world that he gave his son. To save the world. Right? But we know that in order for you to be saved, you got to know you saved. We don't believe Carlton Pearson's doctrine of you save whether you know it or not. That is mental illness. Amen. So we don't believe that. So. Well, what it boils down to today is the world's view versus the Bible. And, you know, people don't read the Bible. People stop reading the Bible 10, 15 years ago, the average Christian. They just stop because they would just rather hear someone preach it and just trust it. The world's view of Christ versus the Holy Bible's view. And y'all remember a couple of years ago, everybody was wearing what would Jesus do bracelets. And don't, didn't nobody wearing it really know what Jesus would do. I would ask him. I was like, why do you have that on? Because I just believe that I need to have the actions of, of Christ and, and, and how he would handle things. Oh, give me an example. Well, I'm going to be kind and nice and nice and kind and kind to people and nice and then nice and then treat people nice and kind and be nice and kind. I was like, dude, Jesus, what? That's all you know that he was nice and kind? You've been looking at the picture. <laughs> oh, the kindest eyes. His eyes were kind and not a hair on his head was out of place. Oh, he's such a sweet, sweet man. 
But you ask him, say, have you read the Bible? Do you really know what Jesus would do? But the world's view of Christ, they say they believe he was born as a man who was promoted to deity. Is that true? No. no! Somebody's like, ain't that what happened? <laughs> no, he wasn't born as a man and then promoted. Where was he promoted? Right. They, have a, they had a ceremony. They made him an elder. <laughs> gave him a collar and then elevated him to bishop. Then made him an apostle. I mean, what? He's Christ. <laughs> the apostles are apostles of Christ. What are you talking about? How is he? What? <laughs> How was he promoted? No, that's not true. That's what happened to the Pope. That's why I have his picture there. He was born as a man and promoted to deity. Can I preach in here? The real Christ was born equal to God in the flesh. John 10 and 30 says, I and my father are what? One. Are what? One. Are what? One. 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 You one with God. Amen. So he was his person, Jesus, but he was equal in the Godhead to God. Y'all got that right? Okay. Now, we don't believe Jesus only and all of that. We don't believe it was the same person in three different operations and dispositions, and he was God this and then he did that. We don't believe that. We believe there were three, but those three are equal to each other in the Godhead. Separate, but same. Does that make sense? Okay, we don't believe gee, God was God and then turned into a dove and the dove landed on Christ and then turned into Christ because there's only one. No, there was three. When he was baptized, the Bible said there was three. The, God the Father spoke and said, this is my beloved son, then sent the spirit down in the form of a dove. All three of them was in that scene. And if it take you 18 pages to try to explain that away, I don't have time to read all that. Ain't that what they do? Doc, they give you 18 pages. Oh, see, well, then, what, what, what? Boy, that, that, that passage is one scripture. How did you get 18 pages out of two sentences? No, he was born equal to God in the flesh. So the world can believe in the Pope. We don't believe in the Pope. We believe in Jesus Christ. He was born. He left. And Christ's son is no longer here in the flesh. And the Pope is not equal to him or has authority over him. I'm just going to correct some stuff this morning. Uh-oh. Go happy. Always happy. Amen. But the world says God, that Jesus, what would Jesus do? Well, he would never say anything negative. They really believe Jesus would never say anything negative. Really, if you say something against their behavior is what it is. Especially the homosexual. It's like, brother, you know, you just really shouldn't be homosexual. What? What? I mean, I'm just saying, brother, I was born like that. No, you weren't born, born like that. What would Jesus do? Why they, why they so, you know? Because they don't believe Jesus would address it. They don't believe Jesus would address folks. Man, you ain't read the Bible, have you? In the Bible, Jesus warned against sin, judgment, and what? Hell fire, not regular fire. Regular fire might burn you up, and somebody's going to eventually put that out. Hell fire is not going anywhere. Matthew 25 and 41. Then shall he say, and who's talking right here in Matthew 24 and, uh, 25 and 41? Who is this? Jesus! 
He said, then shall he say unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Is that negative? You better believe it's negative. There is no way hell can be positive. Amen. The world got that one wrong. Amen. I got all of them in this one. The world, you know, Rick Warren is what he teaches. Disregards repentance and, of sin and righteous living. Those things aren't important. Why would you have to repent of sin or even live righteously all the time if Jesus already died for your sins? That means all your sins are automatically paid before you commit them. So you can just commit sin and it'll be okay because his death, burial, and resurrection will take care of it in advance. That's what he teaches. Jesus commands repentance of sin and righteous living. Acts 26 and 20, but showed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea and then to the Gentiles, y'all know that's everybody, that they should do what? They should what? Repent. Repent and what? Turn to God. But did it stop right there? Did it stop right? He said they need to repent, turn to God, and what? Do works meet for. You don't just repent, you show repentance. <laughs> By your actions. Works that equal your repentance. Can I keep going? Amen. They believe Jesus gives you good health, wealth, and happy feelings. Good health, wealth. Why is wealth always involved with Christ? Wealth. Jesus will make you rich. It's this one prophet, well, let me don't get, I don't want to get ahead of myself because I got his picture too. <laughs> but they just believe good health, wealth, and happy feelings. That's not Jesus, that's Buddha. That is Buddha. Look at somebody say that's Buddha. That, that he is right there. And how come Buddha is slim on some pictures and some pictures he's chubby? Which one is he? But that's Buddha that gives you good health, wealth, and happy feeling. Jesus gives you his spirit, which brings his fruit into your life. Romans 8 and 9 says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the what? So if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, you're in the spirit. He said, now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is what? He is what? Not, you don't belong to him if his spirit isn't in you. And if his spirit is in you, then the fruit of the spirit are going to come through you. So he's not giving you good health, wealth, and happy feelings. He's giving you his spirit. How many of you know that you ain't always happy with the spirit of the Lord in you? You got to deal with some things. The Bible said you're going to be persecuted. You're going to be tried. You ain't always be happy. Mm-hmm. They believe Jesus is loved and accepted by the world. That's what the world believes. It's not Christ. It's the Christians. What? That's what they say. It's not Christ. The homosexuals say that. You know, I, I got an interesting article the other day. The LGBT is fighting to take the L off of LGBT. Y'all heard about that? So the lesbians now are upset because of the transgenders. Because they believe that women are becoming men just to sleep with women. And that's erasing the identity of the lesbians. So the transgenders are getting all the attention. And nobody's talking about the lesbians anymore. Because why be a lesbian when you can just change yourself? So instead of being with a woman, you can just change yourself into a man and be with a woman. And then it's 
like it's supposed to be. When it Why don't you just roll your money up and smoke it? <laughs> I mean, why are you gonna do all that changing and then you back to where you started? <laughs> so the lesbians are protesting right now in the UK. They are invading the pride marches. So they're doing the pride marches downtown in London and all those places and the lesbians are on the other side with the Christians and <laughs> they oppose the GBT. <laughs> GBT, ain't that like some shoes? <laughs> some cheap loafers, the GBTs. GBTQB. QP, oh yeah, the pedophile. So, but they take the L off, the L, we, the L, no, we're not with them anymore, they're wrong. Ain't that some crazy foolishness? But they, they don't have a problem with Christ. Homosexuals say it all the time. They, they're, they're courteous with it, too. They'll come up to you. you at Starbucks or something, and they see something, paraphernalia, see the scriptures. You know, it's, it, we really do love Christ because we believe that Christ loves us. It's just the Christians. That's the problem. That's what they believe. I'm like, bro, do you know Christian means Christ-like? Like, we're a derivative? Like, we're the same? Like, we're Christians because we believe what he said? Like, we oppose you because of what he said? Do you know what he said? Well, let me tell you what he said. He said he's hated and despised by the world. Matter of fact, he embraced that. Yeah. He said, John 15 and 18, if the world hate you, Ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So the world can't buddy up with you. You're going to offend them. At some point, you're going to offend the world. If you don't, something's wrong with you. Amen. Like the old folks say, you ain't saved. Unsaved folks should not feel comfortable around you cussing and carrying on. Some conviction ought to come somewhere. Oh, excuse me, brother. Excuse me. I didn't, you know, they always say, I didn't mean no harm. And I always say, yes, you did. You wouldn't have said it if you didn't. You said it because you meant to be harm. Oh, man, I mean, were you some kind of preacher or something? Bingo. You some kind of demon or something? Oh, I love having those conversations. <laughs> but he is hated and despised by the world, according to the Bible. Y'all enjoying this? Hey, Amen. I love this picture. Like this picture if you love Jesus. So I'll definitely get into heaven now. Hey, Amen. Don't you hate those when people send you those? I hate being on threads with folks that feel like they got to preach to me. Look, somebody's like, what? You don't want the word via text? No, not at all. Not at all. Don't, uh, man, when preachers do that, they say, bro, let me get your number so I can, well, okay. And then the first thing they say in a long paragraph, oh, you can hear them. <laughs> I don't know how I get the audible out of the visual, but I can just hear them. Oh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present ye faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. I can hear their voice. It's only wise God, I say. There be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Then a picture of Jesus at the end. Man, text me and ask me what I'm doing. That's what text is for. The Lord laid me on your heart or something, just pray. Why do you have to call me? The Lord laid you on my heart, brother. I prayed for you, boy. I said your name a thousand times till my lips was crushed there. I don't, I, just do it. I'll feel it. 
Who is getting quiet on that? You know, because folks use that as opportunity to be a wonder. Wanna be, I don't want to be friends with a wonder. You're not riding with me if you're a wonder. I don't need miracles on demand. Go, get, go catch an Uber and get an unsaved driver saved. Why are you with me? I'm already saved. Oh, I'm preaching now, Jack. Oh, folk don't want to hear that. Now, I'm not t- saying something's wrong with encouragement all that, but quit trying to preach to folks. And quit trying to re-preach and second preach and side preach and sub-preach in here at ABC. Oh, I see how I went to that. Yeah, hey, man, quit having folks at your house trying to sub-preach and get an audience. I'm going to find out about it, and I'm going to get up and openly rebuke you and call your name. Because we're not doing that in here. There's one pastor in here. You don't have to be a wonder. If you want to be a wonder, don't you have children you can be a wonder in front of? Be a wonder with some wonder bread and just make a sandwich for all of them and feed them. That's a wonder right there. Your children ain't hungry no more. You just worked a wonder. You a man, you want to be a wonder, bring a check home and feed everybody. Bring a check home, buy buy your wife a dress. That's a wonder, a wonder, wonder. Bring her something home. Why everything you do got to be something that can't be explained? (laughs) All the stuff that can be explained, you you fail at. You're a lousy father, lousy communicator. Don't ever talk. Always in your feelings like Drake. But you can lay hands on somebody and they just start floating in the air. I don't care about levitation. They still got to come down and live. Brother, you ain't showed me nothing. Get out there and work. Work, get a, work 40 hours. Bring that check home. That's a wonder. Your son will be looking at you just mystified. Oh my gosh, my daddy is the bar. He'll need you floating and hovering over his bed. Oh, Man, you better get on and get to work. Get a job. I want to hear that. So foolishness. Trying to be smug, uh, impressing me. Why do you think that's impressive? Throwing their coat and folk just, oh, and then they still gotta get up and deal with sin. So won't I just deal with sin, and that way we can spare the floor from your all them grease spots on it. And your baby hair coming loose. <laughs> I grew up in that, man. I don't, we not doing that in here. Man. <laughs> Want to be a wonder. Hey, Amen. There's only one wonder. Hey, Amen. And you're not it. Man, you're not the star of Jesus' show. Oh, it's quiet in the house now, boy, because somebody got their neck stepped in. Yeah, we know what you've been doing. We know. The world never corrects a person of their sin. I mean, they believe Jesus never corrects a person of their sin, but teaches denial and being seeker friendly. Yeah. That's denial when that's what when when you want somebody to accept your sin, you want them to be in denial. And never say nothing about the foolishness you're doing. You want them in denial. You believe Jesus would really be in denial? The Bible said he went up to draw some water and couldn't be in denial. Lady was right there. He was like, hey, hey, little lady, I heard you had four husbands. And the one you went, you're not even married to. Man, Jesus, but. He ain't ready for it, Jay Brian. What's wrong with you? Need to write a rap about that. Call it the woman at the well, bro. Brian, y'all, y'all get that together. Yeah, walked up to him. Was he in denial? No, he couldn't be. He couldn't be. He saw opportunity. I gotta say something. Like you, I know you like the the, the flavor of this water, but I got some water you ain't never tasted.
Yeah, but they believe he never corrects a person and of their sin, and he teaches denial and being seeker friendly. But the Bible says Christ hates sin and exposes it so we can be freed from it. You can't be freed from it if it's not exposed. First Timothy 5 and 20. Them that sin, the Bible says, rebuke how? Before all that others also may what? Fear. Fear what? Fear doing the same thing and getting rebuked. Don't nobody like rebuke. The world says that Jesus only suggests and never commands. Suggests? God suggests? Can God even make a suggestion? Like when it comes out of his mouth, don't it become what it's supposed to be? That it, when it comes out, it is now? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. So if the word was God, when he speaks, I don't think he's making suggestions. Suggestions means you have an option. He teaches relationship over religion. Relationship over religion. That means you have a relationship with someone without their religion. The religion is how you get to them. Religion is how you know them. Religion teaches you how to please them. Can you have a relationship with somebody without knowing how to please them? I'm preaching in this place. The word says that Christ commands with divine what? Divine what? Authority. He don't suggest. He looked at the olive branch, went to get something to eat. No, what was it? Figs. Fig tree. Get something to eat. Well, no figs on it. Pow. <laughs> Kept walking. It's like, Jesus. What you do? Uh, ain't no more. Ain't nothing else gonna grow on that. It made me mad. <laughs> That's divine. What? Authority. His rules and religion is the only way to see. The only way to. Uh, to it's supposed to be to see God in this life and what? The only way to see God in this life or the next is by his rules. His rules and his religion. Amen. You can't sing no rules, no religion. Because when there's no rules and no religion, you don't know him. You can't please him. His rules and his religion is his way. I'm preaching in this place. John 14 and 6, Jesus said unto them, I am the what? The way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but what? By me. What does he say right there? They have to be like me. And they have to do what I say. They have to be in my religion, which is Christianity, which is Christ-like. They can't be Buddhist. They can't be Hindu. Christ-like. And you can't claim Christ and not be Christ-like. They say that Jesus hates to offend you. And he loves political correctness. This is so whack. Loves political correctness. Could you go up to Jesus and say, Jesus, won't you run for office? <laughs> Jesus is not into politics. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that he offends the world and his truth, uh, with his truth and righteousness, and he's never political. Amen. Ever. Matter of fact, he said, beware of the leaven of politicians. That's why he said, Herod. He wasn't talking about him as a man. He was talking about his disposition. He's political. That means he has a loaded agenda. 
He's a Christian around the Christians. He's a pagan around the pagans. He's political. Because he needs the Christians and the pagans' votes. So beware of his leaven. Y'all enjoying this? Matthew 10 and 34, Jesus said, think not that I've come to send peace on the earth. Man, I ain't came to make it. I didn't come to make everyone happy. Vote for me. I didn't come to get votes. He said, I came not to send peace, but a what? He said, I came to bring division. I came to divide everything. Right on one side, wrong on the other. You know, this new generation of men, they can't handle Christ. He's too hard for them. They get hurt too easily and they get in their feelings too easily. Man, I get, I know I get 20 to 30, I'm being nice, 50 emails a week from women who saying their husbands are in their feelings. Y'all know what in your feelings is? You don't talk. Like won't say nothing. That's in your feelings. Like, he won't say nothing. He won't say nothing. You go try to talk to him. He just. <laughs> in their feelings. That's this generation. In their feelings. They want, they, they want you to know how hurt they are, so they want to show it. They want to show hurt. Like, so you'll feel bad and change whatever it is you did to make them upset. What? A man is doing that? Men. You mean men are walking around the house they're supposed to be, uh, they're supposed to be leading. But they're leading and can't talk? How do you lead silently? Come here. Come here. Come here. A grown man, Herman? A grown... Well, you sis... You! Ooh. I can't believe it! I'm like, man, you gotta send me video footage of that. I need to see. I don't believe you. You mean he walking, head bobbing? So they can't handle Christ because Christ is direct. Christ the most direct human ever lived. He fired off on folks that could have killed him right there. The Bible said one time he fired off on them and they went to grabbing stuff to kill him and he disappeared. He's like, pow. <laughs> they got pushed him a little too far that time. They had rocks and throwing rocks at nothing. He was gone. But the Bible said he would do that. I mean, and now we're back at that with men that just, you know, they, they, they just don't have no fortitude. They can't handle being challenged. Yeah, they can't handle it. So they pout <laughs> in their feelings. But Matthew says, no, man, I came to bring a sword. I came to bring division. I came to make folks think about what they're doing. I came to make them disagree. I don't want everybody agreeing. Everybody shouldn't be agreeing. There needs to be a disagreement between right and wrong. Amen. And quit pouting in your house, man. Don't be looking at me funny because I pulled your card. Don't do it no more. Man, you embarrass me. Don't you send me no email. You embarrass me, man, because I be doing that. <laughs> no, bro, you embarrass yourself. You're going to have a man and a woman with a monthly... What do y'all do that week? Just shut the house down. I know I'm preaching. Hey, Amen. I get on my wife's nerve because she know I'm going to talk. Oh, are we going to talk about everything, baby? We ain't going to look at her. She got it. Ain't going to be. Oh, no, no. 
we need to discuss this. It needs to be a discussion. We're going to have one tonight. A discussion. Let's discuss it. I don't care how I'm feeling. I can have my feelings hurt. I can be sad. I'll discuss it in tears. But we're going to discuss it. Because I'm the leader. If I'm the leader, I got to let. Oh, man. We got to talk about this. Wife ain't chasing me around. Oh, come here, baby. Come on. No, no, no. Not the last time. No. What? In your house? Punk? In front of your kids? Little babies, all of them walk behind you like little ducks. You let everybody in there just. Man, you better quit that stuff. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. Let me... <laughs> Some foolishness, man. You better open your mouth up and talk. The world says that Christ promotes unity and tolerance at any and all cost. Tolerance? Really? You know what tolerance is? That means you sit there and put up with something that's disagreeing with you. You're going to tolerate it. You're going to tolerate it. So you're going to tolerate that behavior in front of your children and let your children grow up compromisers. You're going to tolerate? No, no, we don't tolerate. We don't believe in tolerance. We don't believe in coexist. Man, I, ain't, I can't hang out with all them symbols. Are you kidding me? All those symbols, all y'all going to hell except for the, uh, the last one. So I'm not hanging out with folks on their way to hell. I need to tell you, brother, you're going to hell if you got that moon with the star. If you don't know Jesus Christ and if you know him, you're going to leave the symbol alone. The peace sign, which is the, which is the broken cross, upside down cross. Nero, Nero's cross is what it is. Brother, I'm not, throwing, we're not, I'm not having the peace sign on my clothes. Peace. Brother, there's no peace if you in sin. The Bible, that's turmoil. Ain't no peace if you in sin. I know I'm preaching. The Bible said Jesus brings division between morality and what? Immorality. Luke 14 and 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot what? You can't be, you ain't no, you can't be with me. What is a disciple? Someone learning from him. The ones that were with him. 5,000, then 300, then 12, then 11. Christ. The number kept dwindling. Why? Because some folks couldn't be his disciple. Because they weren't willing to bear his cross. And they weren't willing to come after his teachings. Jesus was like, I'm good with 11. That's all I need. I turn this world upside down with 11. Is it that the men were that powerful? No, it's the word was that powerful. 11 men and it's still the best-selling book to this day. You think Jesus didn't turn the world upside down? It's like, I don't need 5,000. I don't need 300. They believe that Jesus serves your will and not God's will. He'll give you what you desire no matter how you treat him. Carlton Prince said you don't even have to know him. You don't have to know him for him to know you. That's some foolishness. But the Bible says he rewards those that what? That what? Diligently seek him and his will for them. That's who he rewards. So you can't pray for something from Christ and not give him your life. Y'all been watching too much TV. James Evans, oh Lord, I know we haven't, haven't talked much. But this time, I need this rent. If you can come through for this rent one time. That's not real life. You have to diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. For he that come to God must what? Believe, believe that he is and that he is a what? Lord. He's a what? Lord. He's a what? So, so you have to believe that he is and then he's a what? Lord. A what? Lord. Rewarder of who? 
them that what? Diligent. Those that truly go after him. Lord, help him. He's up and coming prophet. Churches are bringing this dude. Dude's wife jumped on him and beat him up online. Ran in the room, called him a liar, and whipped his tail. And he's like, y'all see, y'all see, y'all see the devil, see the devil. Brother, that's your wife. It's, it, while he was live streaming, I guess he didn't bolt the door. But they believe Jesus exalts signs, wonders, and mysticism. Yeah, makes miracles proof of God's power. So in order for God's power to be operating, somebody has to manifest it in the physical realm. That's where the church got off. Yeah, music started playing. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, what's doing that? I be wanting to freeze time. Everybody, everybody stop. Okay, brother, now what is happening here? Now, are you doing that or is something making you do that? It's the spirit is like fire. Hey, hey. So you're not in control. Like you can't stop it? Yeah, I can stop. <laughs> Music started playing again. Hey! Brother, so, I mean, I need an explanation. Because I need to know where the spirit begins and the physical ends. Because I'm confused. You, you don't have control over it. Well, I mean, I can control it, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. But if you wanted to, you could. Because if you can't control it, it's a demon. The spirit don't get on you like that. The spirit respects you. Yeah, God has always respected our will. He's left it up to our will. To choose him, that's our will. He didn't jump on you and force anything on you. So he's not going to do it after you say it either. Force a manifestation, a manifestation and fling you into the camera. I know that was the devil because that camera was $10,000. And if you get flung in the, into one of these cameras, you're going to get flung again into the parking lot. We're going to know that it, wasn't, it was not the spirit that hath flung you. It was security. Because I don't understand that. Tying the drums up. Tying the instruments up. Dude, that's like a rock concert. Y'all see them do that when they worship the devil in a rock concert. What do they do at the end of the concert? They tie everything up, huh? White musicians. You ain't never seen no black musicians tying their stuff up. They be like, ah! Wait, well, I'm still making payments. I can't, I can't crash this guitar today. They gonna come looking for it, bro. <laughs> but no, that's not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost don't do that. It does not do that. Stop believing that it does that. It does not. It's not going to take over you and make you act weird. It's just not. Now, you may do that and call that your dance. Okay. That's your dance. Let it be your dance. But I need you to be able to start and stop. Because once you can't start and stop, we're not gathering around you and holding you in. We're going to let you, we're going to open doors. And we're going to let you just, just dance all the way to Hooters. We're not stopping you. I don't understand. But then when the music stops, you do stop. Like, I've never seen nobody not stop. Yeah. You get slain in the spirit, you get up. I've never seen anybody slain that don't get up. So when you got up, could you get up earlier? Was the work not complete as you lay there? I need answers. Explain this stuff to me. Now, they call me a heretic for this. They think I'm just ne next to Satan because I question this stuff. But this is the stuff that ran church folks off because you had no explanation. You want to know why the young folks don't go to church no more? Because you was getting flung around the church and they weren't. So obviously something is wrong with me. So I need to quit going because I don't feel the flungness. I'm not getting thrown around. I mean, when you swing your jacket, I kept standing up. Everybody else went down. So something must be wrong with me. 
so I'm going to leave. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. No, no explanation. You can't get away with that no more. They have Google now. So I need explanation. I need tongues interpreted. Oh. No, 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 ain't no heavenly language and everybody speaking it. Paul said that's confusion. He said don't do that. Did you skip over that part of the Bible? Paul said don't do that. He said when, the, when, when tongues are spoken, someone needs to interpret it. And I don't need nobody jumping up and speaking King James in an interpretation. And God has said that the Lord is that. That ain't no interpretation. That was a language. So I need somebody that understands that language to tell me what they said. How are they speaking in another language, but you interpret in old King James? I don't understand. That makes no sense to me. You're messing with my logic at this point. Yeah, just explain, explain it to me. Now, if you want to dance and jump up and run around, that's fine. I just need a start and stop. I need you to know that when you're ready to stop, you can stop. You want to throw your wig around? Throw it around. I just need to know you know how to go get it, put it back on, sit down. When, the, when, when we ready to move on to the next part of the service. Because there's going to come a time when we're going to need to move on to the next part of the service. So I don't need you still throwing wigs. I don't need your hair still ping-ponging around the back of the church. I need you seated at that point. Some folks, this is, this is hard. This is too hardcore for them because it's going against years and years of unexplained phenomenon. And they think that's God because you can't explain it. No, I can explain it. That's not in the Bible. Slain in the spirit ain't in the Bible. Oh, but when the glory cow come, the Bible said they couldn't, no, they couldn't do their job. They all had jobs in the temple. They couldn't do the jobs because they were worshiping God. Wasn't that they were passed out and couldn't move. You know I don't care. This is ABC. I'll preach the truth in here. Man, folks question it right now. Somebody's heart is beating fast. Go read it. <laughs> Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. I've seen some stuff happen. The spirit realm can be manifested. Trust me. I've seen stuff happen. Oh, yeah, lights, doors flying open. Uh, the, the, I've seen it all happen spiritually. But if it's happening to you, you can control it. That's what I'm saying. Because once you cannot control it, we have a problem. Hitting people and folks bleeding on your aisle. Man, that wasn't God. But that's what makes way for these freaks. Coming to church, talking this old foolishness. Because folks want some kind of spiritual manifestation. And do you know you can want one so bad that you can manifest it? You can manifest it. When that coat gets swung, you can fall. Oh, I, I really did feel something. That was cologne, brother. I smelt the fragrance of the oil. Oh, it went up in my nostrils as a sweet-smelling scent. That was brute. But you manifested it in your mind. And you thought something really happened. Yeah, folks, I, man, I know I didn't go to the dentist to get this gold tooth. Well, here is the paper that says that they put it in. No, 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 get that away. I know this gold tooth came from on high. So he didn't fix it, huh? <laughs> he didn't give you a new one, huh? He, he covered it with... In the Bible, Jesus warns against false signs and wonders, calls his spiritual fruit proof of his truth. Uh-oh. Is it the signs? Is it the folks falling out? Is it the tongues? No. What's the proof? Matthew 7 and 20 says, wherefore by their what? Fruit ye shall know. What is the fruit? All oh, the Bible lists those. You're going to know by their love, their joy, their peace. Their long-suffering, their gentleness, their goodness, faith, meekness, their temperance. Temperance, self-control. Their wife won't run in and clobber them while they live streaming. 
That's not long-suffering. That's foolishness. Yeah, you'll know them by their fruit, not by signs and wonders. Magicians can do that. All right, let me wrap this up. They believe, and he teaches that Jesus exalts emotion, experience, and opinion above sound doctrine. That means what he's saying is more important than what is written. Folks want to hear what he says, even if it contradicts what's written. I mean, you know, he should have been quieted. The church should have got together and banned him once he said that Ruth and Naomi had a relationship that bordered lesbianism. Bro, right, you can't just drop that right there and then walk away. And then say Jonathan and David's relationship was like that too. Brother, you need to be banned. But because of the emotions and the way he said it, it's, it just slipped right by folks. When he said Jesus isn't the only way, there are other ways. Because the Bible says other sheep that I have which are not of this fold. Meaning other people will go to heaven. Other people can serve Christ and, and, and love Christ without even knowing them in, in other folds. Jesus died for this folk. When he said that, he should have been banned. Why do people still listen to him? Because of the way he says it. Oh, other sheep, other sheep. What the fuck? And everybody just, ooh, did you hear him? Ooh. No, did you hear him? Did you hear him? I heard him. Did, what did you hear? I didn't hear the word. I didn't hear sound doctrine. But the word says that Jesus demands that emotion, ex experience, and opinions conform to sound doctrine. Titus 2 and 1 says, but speak thou the things which become what? That's all you're supposed to be preaching. The things that become sound doctrine. I know it's a little late. Y'all good? Okay. You know, I missed last week, so <laughs> got to make up for it. <laughs> the world, <laughs> Jesus encourages you to love yourself and gratify all of your fleshly desires. Man, how do you get to do everything you want to do and still be sane? I can't do that. Some of the stuff I want to do, like my flesh wants to do, I have to stop my flesh and say, you can't do that because you're saved. Like, that's not what saved people do. How do you get to do whatever comes to your mind? Your wildest fantasy, you can just fulfill it. I can't do that. God won't let me. Well, and even if I tried, I, I would feel bad because I'm not conforming to him. So Jesus commands that you deny yourself and lay down your life for others. Matthew 16, 24, then Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him do what? Man, forget what you want to do. And look, y'all, this is not stopping your fun. How many of you still have fun? I still have fun. I'm having fun now preaching. See, I'm sweating. I'm laughing and sweating preaching. It's fun. What's wrong with you? Why did your fun involve drunkenness and weed? <laughs> Always got to, some smoke has to be somewhere in the vicinity if I'm going to really have fun. Summary! Man, the postmodern Jesus that our society highlights is not, look at somebody say, he's not, is not the Christ of the Bible. In order to truly know who Christ is, you must serve him. People believe that they, people believe what they hear about him without ever truly reading God's word and how he operated. To know him is to love him, and to love him is to what? Serve him. This is the only way to truly know who he is. And this is what the Bible says about the Bible. 2 Timothy 3 and 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto what? Salvation, Salvation through faith, which is in who? Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, rightly aligning with God. 
the man that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto what? All good works. Everyone stand to.